Welcome to Clara's Tech Hub. Today I'm going to talk about the basic tips of Microsoft Excel. So this is a tutorial on Microsoft Excel basics and I'm talking about how to use a field handle. A field handle allows you to automatically fill in a list of data, be it numbers or tapes in a row or a column simply by dragging the handle. So this can save you a lot of time when entering sequential data in virtual sheets and make manually entering the numbers, times or even days of the week over and over again, you can use the autofill features, uh, that is the fill handle or the fill command on the keyboard. So to fill cells, if your data follows a pattern or is based on data in other cells. So I will show you how to fill various types of series of data using the autofill features. Don't forget to subscribe and you will see more and more videos. So I'll start with the filling series with formatting. I have January, which is the first month of the year. It is written in bold and it is italicized and has a yellow shading. So I will click on January, drag all the way down. So now I have copied everything, the text and the formatting together. So the next one is a filling series without a formatting. Uh, with this one I will copy data like I did previously. I have Monday, bold, italicized and blue shading. So I will click and drag all the way downwards but I don't want the formatting. So I'll right click on this drag down option at the bottom and select fill without formatting. The text will be displayed but with no formatting. You can see my text here, it is no longer bold, it's no longer italicized and there is no blue shading. It's just the, it's the text only. Now let's move on to fill with formatting only. I have January in Algerian font style. It is bold and has a green shading plus brown outside borders. So I will drag all the way downwards but I don't want the text, I want the formatting only. So I will click on the drag down option at the bottom and select fill formatting only and only the formatting will be displayed but as you can see there is no text, it's the formatting only. Now I want to exclude weekends on my list of days. So I will copy the days of the week but as you can see it has copied all the days of the week from Sunday to Sunday. So I will click on the drag down option at the bottom and select fill weekdays. So now I have Monday to Friday. When it gets to Friday, it will skip Saturday and Sunday. And the next one will be Monday. So for this one, it only has weekdays. That's Monday to Friday and it excludes weekends. So I hope you understand. That's all for this video. If you want more and more videos, just hit the subscribe button. Bye and see you next time.